Rich Robin Gibb, who died of cancer yesterday, along with some other artists whom we've lost and whose voices will live on forever. Who doesn't know that song and love? So many greats are already gone. Music and media consultant Bruno Del Bernardo is here with all of the highlights. Welcome to you, Bruno. Another live appearance. You're spoiling us. We love having you here live with us. Thank you very much. So first we want to talk about this Donna Summer um, tribute. It, it, it was a bit of a scramble, and then obviously Robin Gibb also passed away, so they had to scramble to do something for him as well. Let's talk about some of the tributes that happened. Well, Donna Summer was was actually, uh, I think it was a little bit of a diss. She scored 32 top 100 hits on the Billboard charts, and uh, Natasha Bedingfield was doing a so-so, pretty good uh, rendition of Last Dance, but they cut it halfway uh, through the song to go to commercials. I don't think that's a nice way to pay uh, respect to somebody who scored so many top ten hits. Usually, if something on a tribute like that, they, they let it breathe, they let it give it time, because they, they, it's a solemn, respectful mm -hmm. thing. They did not. Yeah. And, and in terms of Robin, I mean, you've been so much easier to battling yeah. cancer here. What do you think his legacy will be? We heard that, you know, staying alive, coming back from break. Well, the stats are tremendous. It, it is, it, Robin and his brother sold 220 million albums. Mm -hmm. They scored wow. 60 number ones around the world, nine Grammys, and made the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You know, the three-part harmony was influenced in general generation of, of, of songwriters and singers afterwards. He co-wrote most of the songs with his brother Barry. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's it's a sad, sad day because uh, we'll never be able to hear the Bee Gees again. Yeah. And yeah. still watching this call, so still close together. Yeah. So there's so many awards to talk about and to think about because there's the Grammys and there's now the Billboard Awards. And to differentiate them is a little bit, it's a little bit hard because at the Grammys you hear everybody thanking their agents and their fans and their families. And then here we heard everybody thanking the DJs. What's the difference? These. Well, the difference is the Grammys are voted by the Academy Series. This is voted by, by actually who sells the most amount of records, gets airplay, social media, iTunes downloads, and everything else. But the Billboard Music Awards has become a showcase to launch new summer songs. I mean, who would think that Adele won 12 awards tonight? We didn't even see her. There. Wow. She won 12. Wow. wow. She wasn't even there. But it's all about launching new songs. Chris Brown and Usher and everybody. Yeah. Incredible. What were some of the highlights for you last night? Uh, the Whitney Houston tribute was yeah. Tremendous, tremendous. John Legend did a great job, but even better, Jordan Sparks really knocked it out of the park. And and to see Bobby Christina on stage, who's so well poised and, and just really owning that stage, it reminded me of, of, of uh, Michael Jackson's daughter, Paris, when she yeah. also paid tribute to her father. Tremendous tribute. I mean, this was something Whitney was probably looking down very happy to, to see. Because she died with obviously the night before the Grammy, so that was kind of a rush. Even Jennifer Hudson blew the roof off the place. That was a rush job. They had time to really nail this last night. And, and Jordan Sparks, I was afraid at the beginning when Jordan started with I'll love, Always Love You, because that's a very hard song yes. to cover. Only Whitney could have done it. She did a tremendous job tonight. Tremendous. And you know, Jordan, Jordan's in the movie Sparkle that will open in August. Mm -hmm. Whitney's last movie. Can't wait to see that. Yeah. And Alicia Keys with Stevie Wonder. I thought that was another great moment between the two of them. Phenomenal. Stevie Wonder doing Higher Ground with Alicia Keys there. Alicia, you know, uh, at the end doing a little bit of Empire State of Mind, which is now the, the unofficial theme song from New York. Yes. Totally. Totally. Any low lights real quick for us, the things you didn't like? Uh, apart from the artist lip syncing? Uh, That does happen. That does happen. It was cool, though. So, and again, the thing about these awards, it comes from the fans. So there's a there's a there's a grassroots feel to it. Yes, yeah, so you, you felt that when 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 Justin Bieber was performing and everybody it was this a real fan driven event. Very cool. Thank Thanks. you very much. Always like having you here. So appreciate it. And we'll be back with more.